Welcome back, everyone. I'm Survival Man. In the last episode, we actually completed the first level one in year two. And now, in this episode, I'm going to show you the um, beginning of year two here. And uh, how it's going to change the effect of where you're going to start in each year. So you're going to see that quite frequently and see how you're going to see that in each level and where you are going to start. So, like I said, this is year two. And, uh, so you're going to see the changes quite quick. So you're going to see that really quick. Okay? So, so, uh, we have to go into here. But the gate is closed, and that's the only way through there. And that's the only way to go there. Alright, so in order to do that, I'm going to try to make this quick as possible so you guys can see this, how quick you can do this. Um, so, see the um, uh, trash thing there is picking up the plants and eating them up? So that once, it, it, once it's done, it will give you a this little purple hook thing, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's named, but all it, it, it will give you coins and including that item. So I'm actually going to show you a unique spell that actually will gravitate it towards you, which is Asio spell. And that's one of the um, things I was going to show you today was that. So I'm going to see if I can gravitate it to me and see how it came to my hands without me walking up to it. And that is actually currently the Axial spell doing its work. Now the key here is finding the other two items. And that can be difficult. So of course the snake comes out of a plant. And all you have to do now is just hit it in its head and you, you'll get a bang from it. Boom! Three things at one time. So, there it is, and I'm going to walk all the way over here, and, uh, I'm going to, uh, see that, the, the, there we go, and I have it in my hand, and look at that, this is going to be a little quicker than you think it's going to be, so if you have a hard time getting the after your spell, I can tell you why, it's because it is asking four billion studs just to buy it. Okay, and I don't blame you because it is difficult to get one. So now I'm actually going to show you where the other item is so that you can see in case you're having a hard time doing this game. Like I said, this game can get difficult. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll come back. Trust me. Now we've got a potion. And that is called the Strength Potion. And that gives you the ability of strength, which currently allows you to use the pulley, if there's one around here somewhere, which is right here. Okay? Mm. Mm. So, we just opened up the um, front entrance of where you can actually enter the clock tower. Which is right behind me, as you can see. And as you can see, the last episode, or the one of the five episodes that we actually got the red brick from here, which, um, which one of these episodes, I will show you certain areas where there is red bricks. Alright, Colin Creamy, get out of here. And yes, Colin Creamy can actually get annoying. The reason is, is that because he snapped pictures on you. And he just doesn't stop. He just does it just to annoy you. And yes, there are times where you want to shoot him as many, many, many times as, want, as you want. So that can really get really old quick. So we are learning a... The Mandrake. Which, um, I'll show you the quickest way to do that. So you can get a lot of coins this way. And yes, as you can see, I am annoyed by it. As you can see, that it is. And I'm going in here. And then, yes, of course. 
And uh, when you get up here, you can actually get a gold brick just from right there. As you can see, you can hop on this plant and hop on this uh, cabinet and just hop up there and you've got the gold brick in a way. Now, see that I am not annoyed by this uh, mandrake? It's because I have the ear moss, which, yes, it can be quite the interesting thing to see on a Lego figure. Yes. And actually, you can annoy other people around you, which is quite interesting. And yes, also annoying because it never quiets. Which I can understand that to most people. So I'm actually going to do this quick so that it is less annoying. Alright, let's take you to the other side, but I'm going to go this way so that I don't annoy my allies in here as well. But I'm going to annoy this one right here, and uh, of course Hermione herself and Braun. And I'm going to take care of that, and, and that takes care of the Mandrake handling. So that actually allows you that you can actually do this in a way so that it's easy. So that, so that you know exactly what to do in that matter, and um, so that allows you to go to the next area, which um, you're gonna see here how annoying it can be. Which I am going to show you because one on the other side of this here, and here's a mandrake right here, which is annoying other people. Which, I know where the cabinet is. Like, most people say, oh, where's the cabinet? Well, people, if you look in the hallways, you might find one on the opposite side of the mandrake. So, in case you didn't know that, just a FYI. So, you don't really have to go, you don't have to go far here. You just have to go right here and boom. Mandrake handling, once again, is another session of it has been completed again. So then that allows you to pass through where the, um, uh, I believe they were Hufflepuffs, Prefix. Okay? And I'm going to pass that door so that it doesn't, um, go through what we have to go to and whatnot. So it doesn't annoy us in a way. And look at that, we just picked up a purple coin. Yay, purple coin. Well, people. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All right then. Um, guess we have to go in here, I guess. I guess in the castle. That's where we have to go, I guess. All right, people, get out of my way. Jeez. Yes, the uh, Lego people can actually get in your way, which they can block your path in a way, which is annoying. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's annoying. All right. So it looks like we are going right here, apparently. And we are going there. So we are actually... Looks like we are going to meet the new teacher. <sighs> but we can't go up there just yet. Which on the other side of this area is a cabinet where you can actually go to. Which is at the top here. And the reason why I didn't want to come up here at the first time because them, there was a prefect. Blocking your path in your way, which actually won't allow you to go up here. Which, yes, it is annoying. And I don't get why, but it is. Alright, so let's take this mandrake up the stairway. And let's just go up here. And as you guys know, that mandrakes can actually break glass. So let's go up here and, uh, you know what? You know what? Call and dreamy. Guess what? Bye. 
truck. Bye. Alright, so we are actually going to learn the spell that I was trying to tell you guys from the first year when you're trying to deal with those um, pixies. So in this well, in this um, area, we're going to learn the spell of how to deal with pixies. Hey, nice hair! Alright, so we have to deal with these pectorates. Yes, by the night. Alright, so uh, the spell that we're learning is... Um, Oh, I forgot what the spell was, but I guess it actually does handle pixies in a way. For one of these episodes, it, I will tell you what that spell is so that you can see it. Impersonation, which actually tells you right here, Immobilis. Actually, it tells you right there. Thank you for telling me that, Harry Potter game. Thank you. <laughs> which I was going to tell you later about that, but apparently it shows you right after you complete it. Which is kind of awesome, so you understand the spell, what it does. Which I don't need uh, uh, assistance there. So let's just get all these coins here. Anything else I could do in here? Uh, probably not, but I can probably get all these coins here, and, uh, yeah. So let's go continue on here. So, I'm gonna show you one more thing before I end it, so that you can see what you can do for an a optional thing, so that you guys can see. Well, I'm not gonna show it today, but... Right here, uh, this doorway here that you see behind me uh, leads you to um, the Transfiguration Room, which um, allows you to transfigure your opponents to frogs or rats or something. So it allows you, in a way, to do that. But they only are transfigured for that short amount of time, which is not going to be transfigured forever. But, it's not going to be quick, but about maybe five seconds. Okay? So I'm going to actually end it right here, guys. I, I hope you like this video. Leave a comment, and um, please do subscribe, and it will help other people find my videos. Until next time, I'm Survival Man. I'll catch you guys later.